Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So we're going to make orange attacks this week, which are the reverse of blue attacks. If you move through them, then you're actually safe and don't take damage. But before we get into that, there's actually two bugs we need to talk about. Now last week, some of you might have noticed that your attack color variable can get stuck on blue, meaning that a bunch of attacks that come afterwards behave like blue attacks, even though they don't look blue. This week, we're going to fix that. But before then, there's also one other bug we need to fix. Someone else mentioned that if the heart dies while in the blue soul mode, you can actually be rotated and the heart break can happen with it being sideways. That's a nice easy fix. All we need to do is go looking for the death and invulnerability code in our heart sprite and then look for if player HP less than one. And then right underneath here, we just need to get out a point in direction 90. I wish all bugs were that easy to fix. All right, let's move on to the next. Okay, let's head into the attack sprite and let's put some code into our define heart collision. So this is the code for our blue attacks. Let's copy it and see what changes we need to make to make it work for our orange attacks. Just put it here. Now we're going to change this B to an O for orange. Now we could just say if moving of heart equals yes and velocity of heart is not zero, stop this script. Let's get out a not and then take this velocity equals, put it here. But there's one little problem. This means that we need both of these to be true, which means you need to be moving and jumping in order to avoid the orange attack. If you're just jumping or just moving, the orange attack will still hurt you, which is not what we want. So what we need is an or. We need to take this not and put it into the or, and this moving equals, then drag this whole thing back into one of the ifs, move that and that, there we go. So now, as long as we are moving or jumping, the orange attacks will not hurt us. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go into all of our old attacks and set the color so we don't run into that bug I mentioned earlier. But before we do, this is the perfect opportunity to start changing the different strength and power of different attacks. Have a look here. Change player current HP by minus five. That's currently how much damage all of our attacks always deal. Let's put a variable in here so we can change how much power different attacks have. Let's go to variables, click on make a variable, click on for this sprite only, and then we're going to call this power. Press OK, and let's put a minus power into that change player current HP. Once that's in, we're ready to go and update all of our old attacks. Go looking for define scatter, and we need to put in here set power and set color. Now you can decide how much power your scatter attacks have. I'm gonna set it to three, make the game a little bit easier. You could even set the power to another input if you wanted. I'm not going to, but I am going to set the color to another input. So let's do that now. Right click on define scatter, edit. Let's add a label and we'll say C for color and then an input called color. Press okay and we'll drag this color input to our color variable. Now the nice thing is, is all your previous attacks will still work because the color input will be empty. And if your color variable is empty, your attacks will behave just like normal white attacks. In fact, if you put anything into color other than B or O for blue or orange, they will just behave like normal white attacks at the moment. Okay, time to update the other attacks. Let's do spear next. Let's add in our new input. Then let's set the power to four and set the color variable 
to the color input. All right, let's move on to star. Let's add in that input, then update the power and color. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now here's an interesting one. The wave, I'm personally not going to have the wave change into different colors. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that it's always white. So let's set the power as we've done before. I think two is a good amount for the wave attack. And then let's set the color and we can actually type anything that we want in here. I'm just gonna type in W for white and it will make sure that it behaves like a white attack. You should know the drill by now. Let's do the long attack, set the power and the color. And we can't forget our gravity slam attack. Go and have a look for define gravity slam. I'm going to set the power as five. And I think I'll set the color as always white. Now, if you've made your own attacks, that's great. Just make sure that you set the power and the color underneath the define attack that you've made. So the next step is we need to make some new costumes, don't we? Let's head into costumes and we need to make sure that we do the same thing that we did with our blue attacks. Let's copy the bone, for example, and we need to change it from bone two to bone and then O. This is going to be for orange. 14 is a nice orange color. Now, one thing I would recommend is that even if you don't plan on using every attack in every color, it might be worth making a bunch of these costumes anyway, just in case we run into any bugs like we did before with attacks that are coming out in colors they are not supposed to be. It'll make it a lot more visible when the variable is messing up in that way. Okay, so I've made orange versions of all the costumes. I'm really happy with that. Make sure to another double check that you've named them correctly. And then once you've done that, let's head to the code. Okay, now we've got our nice new costumes made. Let's make sure that our code is switching to the correct costumes, depending on what color they are. Look around and find your projectile XY code. Define projectile. Okay. Now look at this switch costume to join costume and color. Let's just copy this for now and let's bring this over to our when I start as clone code. And put that in there. Now these are two inputs, so they're not going to work in our when I start as clone code, but we should be able to replace them. Let's replace this color input with a color variable and let's replace this costume with going to looks, look for costume number, but change it to costume name and put that there. Now we should be able to switch the costume to let's say bone O or bone B, depending on what color the attack has been set in its color variable. You can get rid of these and let's give it a test. Look around for your forever loop and let's put some test code inside our if mode equals evade. Okay, this is my test code here. I think this will make a really interesting attack, especially this repeat 10 with this long with a blue and then an orange attack, just one of each. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so got our orange attacks. If we move through them, then we're fine. If we don't, then we take damage. Oh, this is cool. So if we move through the orange attacks, we're okay. And if we stay still through the blue attacks, we're okay. All right, everything's working. Let's see what this looks like with the blue soul on. Okay. So yeah, that looks good. Now let's see if these orange attacks work. If I just jump, Yep, I don't take the damage. And if I just move, I don't take the damage. Perfect, that's all working. There we go, that was quite easy. Seeing as orange attacks didn't take us too long, I'm going to give you a bonus. This is the little known gray attack type. Now this doesn't come up very often in Undertale. Napster Bluke uses this attack. And also there's a particular attack that Metaton uses called Happy Break Time. 
But basically, this attack deals you no damage. So to code this is super simple. All we need to do is go looking for our define heart collision. And when we find it, let's copy our if color equals. Don't need all of this. And all we need is if color equals, and I'm going to type in gray here, then stop this script. Now the question is, why did I type gray here and not G for gray? Well, there's one other attack color that we're going to program in, and that also starts with a G, and it's going to come in probably a bit more handy than our gray attacks, which won't come up very often. And that is the green attack. But for now, that's everything for this week. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to do next, or if you need any help with your code. And aside from that, stay awesome, be cool, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.